David and David here. We found a major design flaw while we were recording a video earlier today about how to replace your AirTag batteries. Should have been simple, and the process is theoretically simple, but the Duracell batteries that I bought at Rite Aid yesterday for $12 do not work with the AirTags. So just to prove our point, AirTags come with these Panasonic 2032 shoot batteries. When you put them in, you're supposed to hear a sound. That's the sound that says it's ready to connect. And where did I put the other half of this thing? Oh, here it is, it's right here. Right in front of you. There you go. You hear the sound, I can bring my iPhone near it, but up to find my app, add item, add AirTag, searching for an AirTag, there it is. Nice and easy, that's how it's supposed to work. Right, and I should be able to connect it right away. But watch what happens with the Duracell batteries. Close out of that. Yep, thank you, Dave. Okay, Duracell battery. If I put it in, you don't hear a sound right off the bat. And, you know, obviously we can put the back on and we're not gonna hear a sound. So I'll take it back out and what I noticed is that I can angle the battery in like this, and all of a sudden we hear a sound. Unbelievable. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Right, but as soon as you do this, as soon as you put the back on, that connection is lost, and it will not detect this AirTag. Did we get a defective AirTag? No. no. We got a four pack, we tried them with the AirTags. Did we get a defective battery? No, I licked it. Yeah. It, it, it did have the bitter taste, and it, well, it shocked me a little bit. Yeah, if you ever lick the back of one of these. We also tested out two different Duracell batteries from this pack. We thought maybe the first one's a dud. Right. But it's not a dud because the sound is plain. Right. The issue here is the connection between the AirTag case and the battery itself. And why is that? I think it's because if you look at the Duracell battery versus the Panasonic, the Panasonic battery has a thinner black ring around it than the Duracell does. I'm pretty sure that all battery manufacturers are given a 2032 standard that they have to adhere to. And I'm also pretty sure that Duracell did not screw it up. I'm positive Duracell didn't screw it they up. They probably wrote the specification, but it's understandable that different batteries, different manufacturers might have slightly different setups. And Duracell with a little bit more rubber, they probably did it on purpose, right? Probably a little bit safer. Yep. I mean, they're really thinking about safety with this child secure bitter coating. So Apple engineers obviously did not go to the store and try different batteries with their AirTags. They just yep. got a bunch of Panasonic ones in the mail and they said, all right, we're good to go. Yeah, so what are we gonna do about this? I mean, Apple's not gonna recall all their AirTags because of this. Nope. They definitely have to change the specifications of the next generation of AirTags to fit. Even, even this generation, they will silently push out yeah. an update, they will. And maybe there's a class action lawsuit where you can get $3 and a free battery replacement. And the lawyers will make $300 yes. million. But those of us who went out and bought the $12 four pack, which is already a ripoff, but you're out of luck. So share this video with your friends because nobody wants to go to Rite Aid, find the batteries and then get home and they don't work. Yeah, and this isn't gonna be a big problem right now because AirTags are new, the batteries are gonna last a while, but right. over the course of the year, people are gonna have some battery issues. Their AirTags are gonna go to the store, try to replace it, and it's just not gonna it's work. It's not gonna work, and then they're gonna flood the Apple stores and Apple store employees will quickly, hopefully, watch this video and know what the heck's going on. Yep. But yeah, do yourself a favor and your friends a favor. Let them know that the Duracell ones will not work, but I don't think that it's gonna be Duracell alone, as David said. Test other brands, let us know if they work. Yep. Energizer? Energizer, Rayback. Ray back. Store brands, let us know. Yeah, we're gonna do a follow-up video, test out some more 2032, see if this problem persists across a bunch of different battery manufacturers. Yeah, I just, I'm I cannot believe, yeah, I cannot believe that there would be such a huge design flaw in a new Apple product. Believe it! Oops. Yeah. Oops, batteries It's not don't their fit. first 2032 either. I mean, yeah. they use them in the old Apple TV remotes. They know how to design these types of products. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Please share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see our follow-up videos and our other videos on AirTags. We would love for you to subscribe. Thank you.